Oh, hi guys. Uh, today was my way in at Weight Watchers. I didn't get to um, vlog while I was there. Or So we stopped at Shaw's to pick up some lobsters. I found this coconut sparkling water here. I want to try it and see if I like it. It's from La Croix and it says it's zero calories but it's coconut flavored and I hope it's sweet because if it's not sweet I'm not going to like it. Uh, let's see. Zero calories, carbonated water and natural flavors. So it's probably not gonna be sweet. I don't think sweet enough free. I don't think I want it. There's Stephanie over there. We just got back from Weight Watchers. Look at here, they have self serve chicken wings. And they have soup over here. Oh, they got New England clam chowder. Stephanie is picking out a chicken. I told her Stop and Shop has them for five bucks, but she'd rather pay seven bucks for them. I'd rather pay the two extra dollars and drive over there. Well, we live that way. <laughs> I know, but I need to get home. And she's drinking a coconut seltzer water that was gross. <laughs> that she spit out. I spit it out because I didn't like it, all right? She's but it was crazy. It was gross. She's crazy. It was gross. Yeah. It was. At I least wish I, I had the camera on when she did it. <laughs> at least I wiped it so I didn't want nobody falling on the puddle of water. I was like this when she did it. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't swallow it. It was the grossest thing. You know when you that moment when you taste something All you gross. Had to do was swallow. It, it was, was quick gross. Quickly. Just got home and Tabby's at the door. Or oh, she was at the door. Where'd you go? You ran from the bee. Tabitha is so afraid of bees. Or are you afraid of the camera? One or the other, right? Yep, she's hiding from the camera. Her pretty little face. You think if I looked like her, I would be hiding from the camera? She's gorgeous. Although they say she looks like me. And then Benji came in and he's eating his food over there. Here's my bags and my lobster. I got lobster at Shaw's today. Can't wait to dig in. And there's my bag. Look at this, fireworks in May. Didn't even know I was just driving by and I saw them. I think this over though, I didn't get much of it. That was kind of cool. You had to see some of it. Okay, it's over. Oh, hi guys. Uh, today was my way in at Weight Watchers. So uh, I really didn't do that great this week. Uh, last Friday um, after my weigh in in the evening, um, my family, we all went to go eat at a Mexican restaurant. And I was looking and looking to see what I can have for healthy. And I couldn't like really... The only thing I could think of was the uh, the chicken fajitas. Um, so I picked the chicken and shrimp fajitas, and I share that with Tabitha. But the the uh, vegetables that come with it, like the peppers and onions and stuff, they were like loaded with oil. They like they were like drenched in oil. So so, um, so I was like I was so upset. I was like I am not going Friday. Um, which was today. I'm not going today. I was saying that um, during the week and way more. I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I don't want the lady telling me I gained weight or whatever. Uh, I would have been okay with staying the same or losing a little but not gaining any weight. So um, on Wednesday and Thursday I was really really strict with my diet. I only ate I think 20 out of 30 points on both days and then me and Tabitha exercised all week and um, I did hurt my knee so I couldn't exercise um, yesterday and I haven't ex exercised today so 
um, my knee is really my left knee is really hurting me so I can't exercise on it I'm gonna have to find an exercise that I can do that I'm not using my knee so it's probably gonna be like sit down exercises maybe lifting weights I heard that lifting weights also burns a lot of calories so I might have to start lifting weights and um, I'm not gonna be able to with you know like jump or anything like that so um, I ruined that by ruining my you know hurting my knee my knee but anyways uh, so Wednesday and Thursday I did that and then I I exercised through during the week uh, which I had said on my vlog that that's what I'm gonna start doing was exercise a lot more a lot more often so that's what I did and um, and then I was really good on Wednesday and Thursday doing 20 points out of 30 I could have done 22 one of the days but I don't remember so when I went today to get um waiting I told the lady I'm like oh I don't feel like I'm gonna step on the scale and had lost weight because I kind of cheated or whatnot so when I step on the scale I'm like crossing my fingers please 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 just don't tell me I gained and she goes nope you lost 0.6 so a little over half a pound so I was really 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 happy because I knew that I had screwed up on Friday and Saturday so I thought I was going to gain at least a pound. So when she told me 0.6, I was like, oh, thank God. And what helped was all the exercise I did during the week and um, being really strict on Wednesday and Thursday, not eating all my points. So that helped out with me not gaining weight. I mean, 0.6 is not a lot of a loss, but hey, because of me cheating and everything, I thought it was going to be a gain and it wasn't. It was a loss. Um so i was like okay i am so happy about this and i'm not gonna do that again i i saw that i'm not gonna do that again and so today we didn't go out to eat i had bought lobsters at shaw's because they're on sale and i cooked them up no actually i bought them steamed already so i opened them up and i made um i made lobster uh lobster sandwiches well um, I made lobster rolls um, for Richie and then I made a lobster sandwich for me because I didn't use a roll. I used a hamburger bun. They're the light ones and it's only two points on Weight Watchers. So I used that and then the lobster was one point. So for three points, um, I ate that for lunch. And then um, I think I had some almond milk to drink and that's only one point. So I did very good today. Um, I ended up still having six points left which I'm not gonna eat because it's already late and I just I'm not gonna eat it um, right now anyways this, uh, when I eat this late I get acid reflux so and I know that so I'm not gonna make it worse the only thing I would do is have either an eight ounce glass of almond milk or a four ounce glass um, that's about it which is one point anyways the eight ounces so I mean I might do that because my stomach feels a little acidic because I have acid reflux and I got to be careful what I eat. Um, although I did good today, I didn't do no, I didn't have red sauces or anything and that's when I get the acid reflux when I eat something with red sauce or something spicy or chocolate or even coffee. Those are the triggers for me and I didn't have any of that today. So I should be good. I should be good. I had some Tic Tacs. Usually mints help me out, you know, with the acid re reflux. And also chewing gum helps a lot with the acid reflux. So if you guys get acid reflux, try chewing gum. It's It helps. It helps um, because you just, you know, chewing and swallowing, chewing and swallowing. And I don't know, for me, I swear by it. It really helps. Almost every night I chew gum. Um, especially if I feel um, acid reflux, you know, I just chew gum. I have a glass of almond milk. I'll have some mints because they said mints work for it too. And then I will chew like spearmint gum. So, you know, spearmint, mint, peppermint, any of those mints will help out with your acid reflux. So try that. I mean, you have nothing to lose. And uh, I get the sugar-free 
uh, candy anyways so they're usually uh, zero points on Weight Watchers anyways so um, but that's how I take my acid reflux because I'm not taking my um, medicine for that anymore because of my liver they had taken them away so now he said I can start on the omeprazole but the reason I don't want to take omeprazole is that the new findings I don't know how new it is is that omeprazole causes Alzheimer's I talked to my gastroenterologist um, about it and he said yeah there's, there's no findings about that and I'm like well I don't want to take it and then he goes well do you want to be in pain and I'm like no I don't want to be in pain but I don't want to end up with Alzheimer's either that's like the worst disease a person can get my mom has Alzheimer's if those that pill causes Alzheimer's I don't want to take it um, it's it's called omeprazole and um, it's a little capsule has um, powder inside and uh, you're supposed to take it an hour before you eat in the morning and it does help your acid reflux but I don't like it and then the other pill I was taking for acid reflux was the Santac and that the doctor took away from me she, he said I can't ever take Santac again I guess my liver has an allergic reaction to it and my enzymes go sky high so um he doesn't want me on that pill and that pill was a miracle worker every time i got acid reflux that pill took it away like 15 minutes after i took it um but i can't take it anymore so i'm gonna have to resort to like tums and like i said mints and some almond milk and gum and stuff like that and you know naturally try to figure it out you know so um but yeah, I was so happy that I lost and I didn't gain. And this week, I'm actually going to be more stricter. I want to get a two-pound loss. I really want to work at, work at it. I want to work at it, and I want to, next Friday when I go, I want to have a two-pound loss. And um, then that will bring me down to today. So I lost 0. 0.6. So today, my weigh was one, I weighed 123 pounds even. So if I lost two pounds next Friday, that would bring me to 121. And I want to hit my teens already. I want to hit my teens. So um, 119, I uh, would be on my teens, you know. So I still have um, four pounds to get there. So um, I'm going to work hard. I don't know what I'm going to do about exercising. I'm going to have to search YouTube or something like that and see what I can do. But my knee is really, really bad. I iced it. I took ibuprofen for it and it still hurts. Um, so I'm going to have to pamper it and wait till it gets better. And then I don't think I can do jumping exercises anymore because that's what did it. I went on a walk um, the other day, a jog, and I actually jogged. And then I would stop and jog and stop and jog. And um, my knee, forget it. It was just, by the time I got back, it was really bad. And then on top of that, I go and do a 30-minute uh, workout video. So I really killed it. So maybe when it gets better, I'll start doing low impact aerobics, but I won't do high impact anymore. I was doing jumping jacks. I was doing the skater ones. I was like jumping a lot. So um, now I know that I can't do that because of my knee. I'll just do low impact, but I have to wait till my knee gets better so I can, you know, be able to start um, exercising on it. But um, I'm going to try to do some weights. I'll find some uh, videos or, you know, something on, on YouTube and do some, you know, weightlifting. Not a lot. Like, I don't know. Whatever we have there. I think we have five and sevens maybe. And of the dumbbells. So I'll probably use those and um, sit down. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, I need to get exercise. So I'll probably do it in the morning when I wake up first thing and um and see you know we'll see what happens i'm going to end the vlog and um i wish you guys a good night don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that like button and um comment i would love some comments from you guys 
give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't comment down below and I'll see you in my next video bye I did it I did it all you can see my sweat I'm all turning pink but I did it guys I did it now I'm gonna go for a walk in a little bit